Hello, today we will be talking about the different types of childhood approaches, especially when it comes to like the example of sending your child to school and having them go to school at the age of five years old. And we had four, really five options on um, the discuss board today. So we're gonna be digging into those things. Personally, I don't want to offend anybody with any answers I may give out. I stating this is strictly opinion, but you know, this is a class. So I want to give my educational analysis on all five of those. Um, first off, we're gonna start with the first one that says public as uh, public school kindergarten with no particular curriculum. Uh, these are you know basically sometimes you go to like urban areas some low class low class uh impoverished areas where they really didn't never picked up a specific um approach to follow or an image to follow which turned them into a basic you know regular school regular preschool for kids age five seven four to seven four to six pre-K, kindergarten. So they basically just took a basic approach, reading, learning how to uh, work with others, things like that. And a basic approach that really doesn't, it goes with the true purpose of what you need to learn at the age and how to properly use your brain functions to the most extent that you can do at the age, which is very slept upon, as you're gonna see in the next couple of examples of the different type of approaches is gonna show you that a child's brain at that age is very, very much in the developmental stage and very capable of taking on new tasks day by day and creating new solutions for them. A lot quicker than most people would think, even for older, you know, adults and some such, you know, they're more creative, more intuitive, and this first option doesn't really show the true nature of what a child can do at that age. It really just focuses on the social aspect of children and the beginning stages of development not really even the beginning stages it's just the basic of development which they really can learn on their own to, to be quite frankly um the second one is the montessori private montessori kindergarten so this is basically an approach based off feelings and emotions and you know, trying to get the best experience out of your child, and that's very important. So, personally, in my opinion, I feel like experience is everything. Memories are everything. My child really would want great memories, and you don't want things fading away. You want to be able to remember back to preschool and the good times that you had, and not just always work towards constructive goals, but making memories out of things that you do do and activities that you do participate in that can last your, life, last your lifetime. So I feel like that one was really, you know, great. Um, I would probably personally, I don't know, I would definitely send my child to school, but that'd definitely be my like, top two. But that, cause that's a great option. I feel like experiences are the most important aspect in certain, some certain because, you know, experiences can last your lifetime and help you adjust to things in the future. So I feel like those are really good. Um, private war, uh, Warloff schools, kindergarten, um, based off really more of a fine art aspect, you know, behind the artistic approach of concepts, more like a Renaissance approach, like a Michelangelo, like a Leonardo da Vinci, like the mindset approach for young children at the, age moving forward getting that fine art um really more a meticulous way of going i would definitely not um uh, definitely not even try and put my child in this one this is just out of the league for me i don't feel like i should force my child into art but it does have a creative nature to it and i feel like it does show sometimes, um, so shows a very good, you know, balance of creativity within the child at this age, which some people really wouldn't look at or really wouldn't understand if they really didn't, you know, 
try and develop that um, just a proper understanding for that. So it does it does you know foster creativity within a child, but I honestly does not do not feel like it benefits certain children who don't want to do that type of stuff. I could have a child. My child at five could want to run around and play, play, play. But they want him to sit in class and learn about art. Man, that may not be one he wants to do. So, on this next one, the private, say, stating that my child may go to, like, a private Reggio Millions uh, kindergarten, which is more co focused on cognitive um, methods and development at the early stages more. I may really consider this one because I probably would choose this one. Let me be honest. I feel like my child really could benefit from this. It could really get his a more hands-on approach to things. Um, you know, I feel like this one can experience like it can it can foster uh, various memories and experiences that can last a lifetime. Because this one is based really based off, you know, what a child can really do at this age, digging deep into uh, the child's brain and developmental functions, and seeing what they really can do, how they really can problem solve, think make new things, you know, hands-on, you know, they'll create, my child will create an assignment, they'll post it on the board and the wall, he'll see it for the rest of the year, knowing that he completed that more sense of accomplishment, my child can start building accolades, and that's something I always like throughout my life, and I definitely will for my child. Um, it's just something that, it's a more sturdy approach to learning, with a more hands-on approach to figuring out what you really want to do, because hands-on doesn't just mean build, 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 it means design, it has a more sense of, yeah, it can slide art into their side, foster creativity, and it can foster experience at the same time, so I, both of those mixed together really kind of gives me a, a more sense of discomfort uh, with my child going to a kindergarten like that, I definitely would do that, but, you know, for the assignment's sake, I will definitely discuss this last one, suburb, valley school approach, I would never... I repeat, never send my child to this school. Suburb, <laughs> sub, sub, subdue, bury, valley of school approach. It's just like you going home school and you're not doing no homework and playing a game all day and things like that. I mean, come on, like that's just outrageous. I feel like <laughs> I could never do that. I would like I would never do that. I'm wasting time. Like I, it, education is important. That type of stuff you can do in your own time. You know what I'm saying? But. It focuses on things that you really enjoy and you really like, but let's be honest, you kind of can do that on your own time. <laughs> like I, I really don't, I really don't see it. But I give for on the record, you know, it is focused on things that you're interested in. I feel like after school activities should be focused for that, but not mainly for school activities. Definitely not. Um. I definitely want to choose, want to talk on why I would choose the Reggio Amelia Kindergarten. Uh, definitely because it just incorporates everything around what I want my child to learn, experience, and feel, and be able to feel like he can accomplish anything in the world if he puts his mind to it. That's basically what this, you know, approach stands for me. Like basically, whatever my child puts his mind to, he can accomplish, and that's something I always want my child to feel, I never want him to feel down, I never want him to feel sad, like he can't do something, so that's definitely something I want my child to experience, and that's definitely a reason why I would definitely do that. What uh, The next question is, what are the main principles of your choice of kindergarten? This is above. Um, basically, creativity, uh, cognitive, really more cognitive function than early development. Those are really big things uh, involved in the regio media theory. Um, not there, but approach. It's just basically more hands-on, more more of a, a sense of direction. You know, one day they could be thinking this, and the next a couple hours they could be thinking this, and the next couple minutes, minutes they could be thinking this. It's basically open up the mind of the child and basically get them engulfed around what they want to do, putting their mind to it and putting their hands on it and seeing what they actually are capable to do. Last question. Um... How does your choice of kindergarten address things considering important to your education of the child? Well, personally, of your child, personally, I just want my child to be able to feel like he can do anything, really stretch his mind to where he wants to go. They're not really forcing you. They're just trying to stretch you and your capabilities and everything that they think you can do. So I definitely want my child to be pushed to the edge just like I was. But uh, thank you for watching this video with me, and I hope we get a great.